Hello guys, and welcome to another interesting topic for today. I'll be talking about live drawing. We've done that in the class before, but this time around we're going to have a practical class, okay? So at the end of the class, what are we looking for? We should be able to describe what we call live drawing, also to visualize and um, to observe live figures and movements. Also to analyze and appreciate anatomical details. And lastly, to draw some human positions and movements. Now, what is life drawing? As we all know, a life drawing is a drawing of human form and animals in any of its various shapes and postures using um, any of the drawing media, okay? So, life drawing um, is about figure drawing, but when you're talking about figure drawing, we're talking about human being and animal. Okay, so today we'll be talking about how to have a detailed drawing of human forms with different postures, okay? Um, okay, um, what are the tips that we need? for this um, life drawing class. An average person is generally seven and a half heads tall. We'll be talking about that, how to use hair to measure the whole body um, size, okay? An ideal figure used for an expression of nobility. Uh, for this kind of people, we use um, eight hair tall instead of seven and a half, okay? And the rest like that. So we'll be talking about most of this thing in the Google class today. All right, what are the drawing approaches, okay? Um, as an artist, we have different ways of approaching this drawing. Okay, some people can start with this alone. We call this a skeletal aspect, okay, of drawing. So some people can start with this, especially when you're having your imaginative drawing, observative drawing, someone is posed in front of you to draw, or you want to imagine it. So you can start with all these. So or we call this one skeletal drawing, okay? So we can use shapes, Aligns to represent different movements, as you can see here, so that by the time you want to have a detailed drawing, you don't have much problem with it. Also, there is another approach that we call sketch lines, putting it together, okay, by joining your lines and your shapes together to have uh, postures like this. As you can see, uh, we use base to represent the head, we use this line to represent the hand, and the rest like that. Then from here, we can now develop it into shapes and forms, as you can see here. So this has been developed into this. This is another approach, okay, to make your work very interesting to do. Some of you may have problem with drawing, but by the time you follow these steps, you will be glad, okay? So we have this detailed drawing, okay, as you can see. So you can see so many positions of hands, okay? You can see this one going this way, this one coming this way, this way. All these things we are going to teach ourselves today how to get detailed drawing. Then I can see here, uh, all these cells will bring us back to full details drawing like this. Okay, so in the class today, we'll be talking, I'll, be, I'll upload a lot of videos for you to watch, okay, on how to get this thing done. Then I'll also post my own video for you. Okay, so I'll be there. If you have any question in Google class, I'll be there to answer your questions. Thank you very much and God bless you.